All right, I hope you're ready for this one. Today we are going to learn how to use GPT-3 with Roam Research. You will remember that in the previous video, we logged in and set up an account for OpenAI. And now that we have that account, we need something special. We need an API key. So let's just go ahead and get it now. Click on your account, go to view API keys, generate a new key, which I'll do in this case, and copy it. So now I have my API key in my clipboard. Roam Research is a note-taking tool for network thought. I use it a lot. It's a conversation for another day. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sign up. You can get 30 days free, then it does become a paid tool. Personally, I think it's worth it. But once you sign in, you'll be met with your daily notes page, and it's going to look just like this once you've created your first graph. I created a graph called Test Graph AI. I'm going to close this and get it out of the way. Currently, I can't do AI inside this graph. So remember, whoops, that was our API key. The um, Don't try to steal my key. It won't matter. I'm going to delete it after I record this video. So let's get this graph AI enabled. First, let's start. Tell me a story about a giraffe and a penguin that penguin that are madly in love exclamation point why not let's get ai enabled click on the little hamburger menu here go to the rome depot in the rome depot type ai scroll down until you find rome ai by john and here click install once you've clicked install go here Remember that API key? You're going to put it here. That's it. You are done. I'm serious. That was all there was to it. We type QQ now. That wouldn't do that before. Now it does. And let's type completion. Da -da, da -da -da. Okay. Once upon a time, a giraffe and a penguin fell madly in love with each other. They spent every waking moment together. It was clear that they were meant to be together. Oh, wait, we've had a twist. Sadly, their love was not meant to last. One day, the giraffe died suddenly of a heart attack, leaving the penguin devastated. No, this is terrible. The penguin could not bear to live without the giraffe, and shortly afterwards, the penguin died of a broken heart. OMG. Wow, that was sad. I'm deleting this horrible story. I don't ever want to see it again. And we are going to move on. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this in a note-taking tool that's free called LogSeek.